ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh the come night. on now, you all don't feel like that. Hey kids, happy Thursday night. Uh, special shout out to my brother Spooner Graham over in the UK. You're a twunt. Anyway, this is a tech tip. I haven't done a tech tip in a long time. Um, and it was kind of spawned on by, I did a video earlier of a little test flight of my little booger here. <laughs> Whatever this wasp thing is. I put a 3S on it and did some skydiving and, and I beat the battery to shit. I mean, I just fucking killed it. And uh, that's okay. This is something I usually don't do. This is a battery video. And not to take away from Bardwell's, you know, $4,000 battery tester and all this other crap. But um, I try to avoid battery videos because everybody has a fucking opinion on how you should charge them, how you shouldn't charge them. The few times I've done battery videos, people are like, that's how you do it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. It's not sex, dude. It's charging a fucking battery. But here we go. Hang on a minute. All right, we're going to take these two batteries. These are old Junker 3S batteries that I've had for a thousand years. These I literally think I've had for three or four years. Um, I don't use them anymore. I use them for testing, like when I'm doing beta flight and things like that. Uh, but they're both 2200 milliamp 3S, nothing fancy. Okay, we're going to use these for demonstration purposes. Now, let's say, okay, how do I say this? I don't have a living example of how to do this, but when you run your battery down too low, like I did in my video earlier, I brought down like six, a three S down six volts or something. It was terrible. I totally fucked that thing up. Um, actually, here it is. This guy here beat the shit out of that thing. Um, when you bring a battery too low, your bat, your charger, your lipo charger won't let you charge it. It'll say battery voltage incomplete or something like that. Eh, okay, fine. So you got all these guys on YouTube that say, um, in various chat rooms, they, and they say, okay, put your lipo charger on NICAD mode, put it on the lowest amperage setting, and then and stick a balance. Uh, meter on there and watch it and just charge it really carefully cross your fingers wipe your bard well and hope it doesn't blow up okay that is not the way to salvage a battery for instance if you've got let's just say that i took this battery here and i drove it down to death drove it down to death you know so way beyond storage voltage and you plug it into your charger it's like fuck me it doesn't work it doesn't work and then this one's normal this one's been your your drawer, it's storage charge, bam, no problem, right? Here's all you've got to do. Get yourself a $6 balance, balance board, okay? Parallel charging board. Don't buy the Bardwell one, it's gay, okay? Then all you do, take the good battery, charge it up. It doesn't even have to be fully charged, but stick it on there, charge it for 20 minutes, no big deal. Then go into balance charge, and what you want to do plug this in here now assume this is plugged into a charger okay and plug this in here then plug this in here and plug this in here okay like you're going to do a balance charge this will fake out the charger because it will see a nominal voltage that's okay and go ahead and set it on balance walk away and it will bring this one up to this one's level then after balance Bring it up to a full charge with your charger. You know, do a balanced charge. Both of them, but instead of 2200, set it at 4400 because you got two on there. And then once it gets to a full charge, bring it back down to a balanced charge and bam, it's good. Now, I'm not saying that if you take a battery and completely fucking destroy it like I do, that it's going to be great again. Okay, but it, what it will do is it will put the charge back into it and you'll still be able to use it. It just might not be perfect. Does that make sense? It's not hard. Don't put your charger on NICAD and run the risk of blowing your shit up, you know, and then it's like, yeah, don't do that. Take a good battery. That's what the, bat the charger is going to sense. And then stick this one paralleled with it and bring them down to a balance. 
boom. And then bring them up to a full charge, boom. Bring them back down to a balance, boom, done. You just saved your battery. You didn't have to go into NICAD mode. You didn't have to worry about burning your house down or wiping your bard well when you're done. All you gotta do, not rocket science. Bam, keep the shine side up, kids. Talk to you later, bye. Bam, JJ! Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing.